together. The person starts in 90 degrees of horizontal, um, hor um, 90 degrees of abduction, abduction, okay? Um, one thing you might do for your patient too is if you're noticing in this position how his, he's not in the frontal plane there, he's, he's kind of out of it. Because of the arm, you can put like a little towel or something there for him. Uh, so what you're gonna ask the person to do is when I ask you, I need you to lift your arm up and across your body like that, okay? And you bring it back, just kind of show the person. Go ahead, let's see. So do it against gravity, yes, he's a three. So then to, to apply resistance, I'm just gonna stay right in that position, hold, don't let me move you, and just to the break point. And so five out of five, okay? Four would have been, he was able to take moderate before he gave, right? And three would have been, as soon as we start giving him resistance, he can't do, take any of his, okay? okay? Before we get to two and zero, two, one, zero, uh, what you can do with the pectoralis major with it being such a big muscle is it's got two separate sections, the clavicular portion and then the sternal portion. So you can break up the test to test the specific components of the pec. The way you do that is for the clavicular portion, instead of starting in 90 degrees of horizontal abduction, you will start at around 60 degrees of horizontal abduction. And then what you're gonna ask the person to do is to lift up and across at a diagonal in the direction that their, their arm's in, okay? So again, you're just gonna lift your arm up and across. That's a three at least. Bring them back to 90, hold to let me move you. Three, four, five, okay? For the sternal head, the fibers are oriented more diagonally this way. 